Yeah. MMA Digest here with Miles Dury in Toronto, Canada. And Miles, you're going to be fighting in Toronto in September at UFC 165 against Mike Ricci. Are you excited to be fighting in Canada for the first time? I'm very excited. Uh, I, you know, I'm from Detroit, so I, I Windsor. I got family in Windsor, and I've been to Canada like my whole career. So uh, I, I'm excited. You know, this is the first time being in Toronto, getting the fight in front of the fans, and I really appreciate the, the Canadian fans. So yeah, I'm very excited. And your opponent, Mike Ricci, he's fought a couple times in the UFC. What are your thoughts on his fighting style? Uh, I think Mike Ricci is uh, pretty good. He, I think he's well-rounded. I think he trains with a great camp. And um, yeah, he's, he's another tough test. You know, I, I look at Mike Ricci as another another way of testing myself uh, against some of the best in the world and on the biggest stage. So uh, that's what I want to do. And uh, your team is Alliance MMA. Uh, what what are your thoughts on how your game has improved since you've been there? Yeah, I'm with Alliance MMA and uh, Chula Vista, and I, I I feel like they're the best team in the world. I feel like I've grown leaps and bounds, and not only you know jujitsu, wrestling, striking, all that good stuff, but just as a person, man, uh, the, my coaches, the their mentalities are are the are the best, and uh, I'm, I'm very grateful to, to be with Alliance. And you really seem to enjoy being a part of MMA. Uh, how important is it for you to have fun in the sport? You know. If having fun in the sport is very important, but just having fun in my life in general is very important for me. You know, it's one of my biggest you know values, one of my biggest things. So, um, if I'm not having fun with something, I, I won't do it. You know, I'm the type of person I'm really honest and I'm really truthful. So, as long as I'm having fun doing what I'm doing, uh, I'm going to continue doing it. And, and this is great. I love being around the martial arts aspect of the sport. I love teaching. I love helping people. I love getting out there and competing and, uh, and representing myself. So, uh, myself and my fans, my family. So, all together, it's fun. And you have a, a, a real positive attitude towards life. Where do you feel that that comes from? I feel like just being positive comes from uh, just a lot of past experiences in my life. I feel like coming up, I, I, I got dealt you know a couple of crappy hands or whatnot, and, and I had choices I had to make. You know, I was either going to take uh, you know the the negative side of it or the positive side, and I've always taken the positive, and it's gotten me where I'm at now. And uh, you know, I just continue to to live that that positivity every day. And Dominic Cruz, how's he doing? And what's it like having him on your team? Dominic Cruz is doing good. Uh, he's working his butt off. Um, the guy's one of the hardest working guys I know. And having him around, man, it's just, uh, it, it's, it gives me like a gauge to, to, to test myself, you know what I mean? Because I'm getting to situations in my career where I'm getting up there and, uh, you know, somebody like a Dominic who's, you know, you know multi champion and WEC, all that. And just his work ethic and, and the mentality that he brings, uh, having him around is, is awesome. It gives me a chance to push myself and test myself. And he's going through what you went through in the past in terms of recovering from an ACL injury. Uh, when you were injured, what did you learn during that long recovery process? That, that whole injury and the whole Ultimate Fighter 13 scenario, that was probably one of the toughest situations in my life. You know, I, I've, said, I've talked about it before, you know, tearing my ACL, getting, getting kicked out of the UFC before I ever even fought in the UFC. Uh, you know, it was my biggest dream getting there and uh, had my dreams ripped away from me. So it gave me a chance to really reflect on my, my career and my lifestyle and, and just really focus in that, that this is what I want to do and it just made me you know look inside myself and work even harder and in the past you mentioned that you might be interested in learning how to uh, buy sell and rent homes is that something you might want to do in the future definitely that's actually a really good question um you know that's one of my I'm the type of guy if, if anything sparks my interest um, I'm like a big researcher you know I'm always looking up stuff I'm always constantly trying to trying to learn about stuff and uh, and definitely like you said you know looking into homes real estate investing all together learn about money man uh, the just just learning about money was such like a, a big eye-opener for me and you know everything that comes along with money and uh and it's, it's just very very interesting to me so that's that's one of the things that kind of drove me into the you know real estate is uh it's just right there and it's investing so and uh, you're a brand ambassador for vega the plant-based nutritional company um i'm wondering what your diet consists of and are you a vegan uh yeah i'm, I'm with uh vega i'm not a vegan though i uh i like my meats um but just the, the whole the whole idea behind Vega is, is what is how my diet is. You know, everything's plant based. Uh, I did be as natural as I can, um, and the Vega supplements all, all together. I use those in my diets. You know, all the time protein shakes, nutritional shakes, um, the omega omegas, all that stuff. So um, so yeah. So so the philosophy of Vega fits with my philosophy in life. So I think that's that's why I'm with them, and I really appreciate them. Very cool, and we look forward to your fight in September. And for everybody watching on YouTube, anything you'd like to say to them? Anything you'd like to get across to them? Uh, no, just uh, what's up? Keeping it real. Have a guys. Hope you guys have fun. Very cool. Thanks a lot, man.